Erectile dysfunction, or ED, is a common concern for men. It can cause stress, anxiety, and relationship problems. Many factors can contribute to ED. These include stress, smoking, and underlying health conditions like heart disease and diabetes. However, did you know that some common medications could also be playing a role? Dr. Donald Grant, a respected voice in men's health, has issued a warning about the potential link between common over-the-counter pain relievers and erectile dysfunction. His research suggests that medications like aspirin and ibuprofen, while effective in managing pain and inflammation, could have unintended consequences for men's sexual health. These medications, known as NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, are often the go-to solution for headaches, muscle soreness, and arthritis pain. While generally considered safe for short-term use, their long-term effects, particularly on men's sexual function, have raised concerns. To understand how medications like aspirin and ibuprofen might contribute to ED, it's essential to understand the mechanics of an erection. Achieving an erection involves a complex interplay of blood vessels, nerves, and hormones. When a man is sexually aroused, blood flow to the penis increases, engorging the tissues and resulting in an erection. NSAIDs work by inhibiting the production of certain chemicals in the body that promote inflammation. However, these chemicals also play a role in blood vessel dilation. By reducing their production, NSAIDs may inadvertently constrict blood vessels, including those in the penis, potentially making it difficult to achieve or maintain an erection. While NSAIDs have come under scrutiny for their potential impact on erectile function, it's crucial to remember that they are not the only culprits. Many other medications, often prescribed for common health issues, can also have similar side effects. Several other commonly prescribed medications have been linked to ED, often as a potential side effect. These include beta blockers used to treat high blood pressure. Beta blockers work by slowing down the heart rate and reducing blood pressure. This is beneficial for heart health but can have unintended consequences. However, this mechanism can also restrict blood flow throughout the body, potentially leading to ED. It's a trade-off that needs careful consideration. Antidepressants, while essential for managing depression and anxiety, some antidepressants, particularly selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, can interfere with the neurotransmitters involved in sexual desire and arousal, potentially causing ED. This can be particularly challenging for those already dealing with mental health issues. Antihistamines, commonly used to treat allergies, some antihistamines can block histamine receptors involved in achieving an erection, leading to temporary ED. This is often an overlooked side effect. It's important to note that not everyone who takes these medications will experience ED as a side effect. Individual reactions can vary widely. The severity and likelihood of experiencing ED can vary depending on the individual, the specific medication, and the dosage. Always consult with your healthcare provider to understand the risks and benefits of your medications. Section 5. Finding Relief, Naturally, Alternatives for Pain and Inflammation Knowing that some common medications could contribute to erectile dysfunction might seem concerning, but it's essential to remember that you have options. There are various natural remedies and lifestyle changes that can help manage pain and inflammation effectively. If you're experiencing pain and inflammation and are concerned about the potential impact of NSAIDs on your sexual health, several natural alternatives might provide relief without compromising your erectile function. These alternatives can be just as effective and come with fewer side effects. Turmeric. This vibrant yellow spice contains curcumin, a powerful anti-inflammatory compound that has been shown to reduce pain and inflammation. You can add it to your meals or take it as a supplement. Ginger. Known for its soothing properties, ginger contains gingerol, another potent anti-inflammatory compound that can help alleviate pain and muscle soreness. Ginger can be consumed fresh, as a tea, or in capsule form. Omega-3. Fatty acids. Found in fatty fish, flax seeds, and chia seeds, omega-3 fatty acids have been shown to reduce inflammation throughout the body. Including these in your diet can support overall health and reduce pain. These natural remedies can be incorporated into your diet or taken as supplements. They offer a holistic approach to managing pain and inflammation. However, it's essential to consult with your healthcare provider before making any significant changes to your diet or supplement regimen. 
especially if you have underlying health conditions or are taking other medications. Your doctor can help you find the best approach for your specific needs. Section 6. Your health, your priority. Consult your doctor before making changes. While exploring natural alternatives can be empowering, it's crucial to prioritize your health and safety by consulting with your healthcare provider before making any significant changes to your medication or supplement regimen. Self-diagnosing and altering your treatment plan can be dangerous and may worsen your condition or lead to unintended side effects. Your doctor can assess your individual needs, consider your medical history and current medications, and recommend the most appropriate and safest course of treatment for you. They can also advise you on the potential risks and benefits of different medications and natural remedies, ensuring that you make informed decisions about your health. Section 7. Fueling Your Body – Dietary Recommendations for Enhanced Blood Flow Believe it or not, what you eat can significantly impact your blood flow and consequently, your sexual health. A well-balanced diet is crucial for maintaining overall health and can have specific benefits for your circulatory system. Incorporating certain foods into your diet can help improve circulation and support optimal erectile function. Making mindful choices about what you consume can lead to significant improvements in your vascular health. Here are some dietary recommendations for enhanced blood flow. Nitrate-rich foods. Foods like beetroot, spinach, and arugula are rich in nitrates, which convert to nitric oxide in the body. This compound plays a vital role in maintaining the flexibility and health of your blood vessels. Nitric oxide is a potent vasodilator, meaning it helps relax and widen blood vessels, improving blood flow. Omega-3 fatty acids. In addition to their anti-inflammatory properties, omega-3 fatty acids found in fatty fish, flax seeds, and chia seeds can improve blood flow by reducing the stickiness of platelets, making it easier for blood to circulate. These healthy fats are essential for maintaining a healthy heart and vascular system. Antioxidant-rich fruits and vegetables. Antioxidants like vitamin C and E, found abundantly in berries, citrus fruits, leafy greens, and bell peppers, help protect blood vessels from damage caused by free radicals, promoting healthy blood flow. Including a variety of these colorful fruits and vegetables in your diet can provide a wide range of health benefits, including improved circulation. Section 8. Beyond the Plate Lifestyle Modifications for Optimal Erectile Health While diet plays a vital role in supporting erectile health, it's not the only factor to consider. Certain lifestyle modifications can significantly impact your blood flow and overall sexual well-being. Here are some lifestyle changes that can make a difference. Regular exercise, engaging in regular physical activity, even moderate intensity exercise like brisk walking or cycling, can improve cardiovascular health enhance blood flow, and boost libido. Quit smoking. Smoking damages blood vessels and restricts blood flow throughout the body, including to the penis. Quitting smoking is one of the best things you can do for your overall health, including your sexual health. Limit alcohol consumption. While moderate alcohol consumption might not pose significant risks, excessive alcohol intake can negatively impact blood flow and contribute to erectile dysfunction. Section 9. Stress Less, Love More – The Impact of Stress on Sexual Wellness In today's fast-paced world, stress has become a constant companion for many, but chronic stress can take a toll on your health, including your sexual health. When you're stressed, your body releases hormones like cortisol, which can constrict blood vessels and contribute to erectile dysfunction. Finding healthy ways to manage stress is crucial for maintaining optimal sexual wellness. Consider incorporating stress-reducing activities into your routine, such as yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises, or spending time in nature. Section 10. Open Communication – The Key to a Fulfilling Sex Life Erectile dysfunction can be a sensitive topic for men to discuss, often shrouded in shame and embarrassment, making it difficult to address. However, Open communication with your partner is essential for maintaining a healthy and fulfilling sex life, and it should not be overlooked. Talking openly about your concerns, fears, and desires can help alleviate anxiety, build intimacy, and strengthen your bond as a couple. Remember, you're in this together, and seeking support from your partner can make a world of difference in your relationship. Section 11. Reclaiming Your Intimacy Taking control of your sexual health. 
Erectile dysfunction can feel like an insurmountable obstacle, but it's important to remember that you have the power to take control of your sexual health. By being proactive, seeking professional guidance, and making informed choices about your lifestyle and well-being, you can reclaim your intimacy and enjoy a fulfilling sex life. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. Millions of men experience erectile dysfunction, and with the right support and resources, you can overcome the challenges and rediscover